Do I have face powders? Yes. Does that stop me from wanting to shop for more face powders? No. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have another haul for you, and this is an affordable haul with products I picked up from Dollar General, Walmart, Target, so a lot of affordable stuff. Now, this is mostly makeup, but there is some hair care products in here because I've been shopping for either stuff for my hair, just maintenance, or stuff to help style my wigs. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up in my drugstore affordable haul, so if you wanna see, stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're gonna jump straight in and this, I'm running out of boxes and baskets to, <laughs> to use. So this is what my stuff is in today. We got a lot of stuff in here. So I'm gonna try to make this video a little quick. I'm gonna sit this up here and I'm just gonna pull straight out of the basket and go from there. The very first thing is actually just been used and it's sitting here on my table, I picked up a paddle brush and I did pick this up mainly to use for my wigs. This is the Conair Soft Touch Grip Ideal for Thick Hair. I did not have a paddle brush. I normally use the wet brushes, the detangling brushes for my hair and that wasn't working out too well for my wigs. So I think this was like four or five dollars, but it's just a big paddle brush which has some hair in it. Um, I used it on this hair and can't wait to see how it makes a difference styling my wigs. The next thing I picked up is a relaxer. Pretty much anytime I'm in a Target or Walmart or sometimes CVS too, if I find one of these and I have a coupon, I grab it because I do relax my hair every five to seven weeks. Six to eight is ideal, but Depending on what's going on, if I've sweated it out a lot or whatever, sometimes you gotta do it a little early. So this is the brand ORS. This is the one I pretty much always use. This is a full kit, but they do also sell them in just a touch-up kit. But I always worry I'm gonna run out. I never do. I've used the touch-up and it's been fine, but it's in my head and it's only like two or three dollars difference. But yeah, so picked up one of these. I actually have another one. This stuff has been sitting for a while that I needed to show you guys, so it's kind of a hodgepodge. I also, I wanted to try a different one. This is the Soft Sheen Carson Optimum Salon Care Defy Breakage No Lie Relaxer. So this is a different brand from what I normally wear, but it does say that you get 90% less breakage for stronger and smoother hair. Not sure how true that is and how you're even going to test it. Um, but I do like that this one comes with a protective pre-treatment to put around your hairline. I don't think this one does. No, the ORS one does not. But the ORS one comes with an oil that you put into the relaxer that's supposed to help protect and be a shine booster and whatever. So... Different brands give you different stuff, but yeah, I just picked this one up because I wanted to try something different. I guess we'll stay with the hair stuff and I'll try to go through all that now. The next thing I picked up is this Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair. This is the Comeback Curl Next Day Curl Revitalizer. It says it refreshes curls, reduces frizz, and adds shine, and is made with pure shea butter for all curl types. Most of the wigs that I have that I like to wear um, are curly hair wigs. My headband wig, if you haven't seen the reviews, I have two and they're both curly. Go check those out. But I hate when my curls look dry and frizzy and I've never had curly hair. So right now I'm kind of experimenting with what products to use. If you guys know any, any of my natural hair ladies, men out there that wear their hair curly, if you have suggestions, please comment and let me know because I'll take all the help I can get. Um, so that's one curly hair product. This is another. This is Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Grape Seed Style and Shine Recipes. This is Frizz Patrol Anti-Poof Setting Mousse. 
I have heard of this brand before from other um, channels that do curly hair reviews. And this is basically, it says it's a hydrating elixir that sets curls, waves, and coils in textured hair and it styles in place. It has jojoba and tamanu oil. Have no idea what that is, but yeah, this is basically just a setting mousse. I have some other ones that I feel like kind of make the hair hard and crunchy and I don't really care for those. So I was looking for something that would be more just to make the curls pop and shine, but not hard. So I wanted to try this. I have another mousse. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This says for thick curly hair, it's anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. I think I've used this one before. I feel like if you have a long curly wig, you will go through like a third of a bottle of this styling at one time. So that's why I picked up more than one to see what I like, but then also because they run out pretty fast. Another, I have two actually, other Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils products. This first one is the Slicked Flexible Styling Glue. It says superior hold moisturizing, molding, and sculpting formula for hair and edges. I don't know if I picked this up because I was thinking about trying to use it to secure my wigs or if I was probably gonna use it just to help slick my hair down for my headband wigs or maybe both. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about this, but I thought it would be good to try because I do have the got to be, got to be in the black um, tube like this, but I only use that to secure my wigs on when I'm gluing them down. So I just wanted to try this one to see how it would look, you know, setting that on the front of my hair if I'm wearing a headband wig or if I need something to slick it back to put on a regular wig. So we'll see how this works. The other on Jackie's product that I picked up is the Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. This is for natural curls, coils, and waves enriched with shea butter and olive oil. It says, say goodbye to frizz, unruly curls, and lifeless coils. I think this stuff was on sale at Target and that may be why I picked up a few items from the brand. I don't remember and it probably doesn't matter because I just wanted to try. I don't have any specific curly hair products. So because I've realized now that I like curly wigs, I figure I better get my act together with styling them. So I wanna wear them and the curls can last and look good all day. This next product is the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Bond Release Spray. This says it's to hydrate and remove, basically to take your wigs off. I, my hesitation with wearing wigs is always, I don't wanna lose my edges. I am terrified of that. I already feel like my forehead is big. I don't need nothing pulling my hair out. So I do have the Erica J Hold Me Down Bond Remover oil that she has, but the bottle's like this big. So I wanted to get this to try mainly when I'm not using a glue specifically, but even if I'm just using Got To Be Spray or the Even Spray, I still don't rip that off. I try to either use alcohol or I'll actually just take it off in the shower when I wash my hair. So I thought this would be a good option to use if I don't want to get in the shower to take it off, but I also don't want to use alcohol and dry the wig out or my skin. So I think this will be more protecting of my skin and my hair. This next product I've heard a lot of good things about and it was sold out for a long time and then I was finally able to get it. This is the Simply Styling Light Silk Spray. This is a pure silicone spray and this is really good for synthetic wigs. I do have some synthetic units. I also have some human hair units and I love the synthetic ones because they pretty much always keep their curl. I don't have issues with that, but I do feel like they get tangled faster and it's sometimes hard to tame the flyaways on those more than it is the human hair. So I just wanted to try this to see mainly if it would help with tangling because I have a half wig that I wear basically like a headband wig and then I also have some longer units I haven't worn yet that hopefully this will help keep manageable when I wear them. Last hair product I picked up, this is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine. I know y'all have seen this. If you watch hair channels, this is a cult favorite for how to add some shine to your wig, 
how to tame flyaways, but not wear weigh the hair down. So I actually had a coupon. I think I got this for free when I bought some other stuff. So I was really excited to get this because I've heard a lot of good stuff about it and felt like if I was gonna be more serious about doing hair videos, I need to use what the pros use. So now I have this. I lied, one more hair thing. <laughs> this is the Eben Tinted Lace Spray. This is in skin tone dark brown. I hope this isn't too dark for me. I found this at Target, which I was not expecting. So they had dark brown and then they had light brown. The light brown was way too light. I don't know, I'm gonna spray this and see. Mm. Mm, maybe, that's the shade of it there. I think it'll be all right. I just have to not spray too much. I think it'll be okay. I don't want, I didn't want it too light and looking ashy, but if I spray with this and it turns out a little too dark, I might be able to put powder on it. Either way, if it doesn't work, I can bring it back. That's the great thing about getting it at Target and you get your 5% discount if you have a red card. So I will keep you posted. Hopefully this is not too dark. All right, so now we can move on to the makeup products. Again, this is stuff that I picked up from Target, Walmart, and also Dollar General. The Dollar General stuff I picked up because I've heard a lot about Believe Beauty and I finally was in a Dollar General and saw some of the products. So I was like, you know what? I haven't seen these before while I was at home. So let me go ahead and grab them now. The first product I picked up, I can tell you right now, this is not my shade. I know it is not my shade, but it is the only, it was the closest that they had to my shade. This is the Belief Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. It says medium to full coverage. This is gonna be dark. We already know I have made dark foundations work. I wanted to try this because I've heard really good reviews about it. The shade that was lighter than this one was way too light. It comes with this pump, which is very nice to have for drugstore. You know, I don't think that's gonna be horrible, actually. That's the shade right there. I think that's actually a pretty good match. I don't know if it's gonna dry down and if it's gonna oxidize a little bit, but if not, I will definitely be able to make that work. So I can't wait to use this. I'm gonna do a video with all the products that I picked up just to show you guys, but I think I have a full face. I picked up their concealer as well. This is the Belief Beauty Your Covered Liquid Concealer. Oh, sorry, the foundation is in the shade Sable. The concealer is in the shade beige. This is what the packaging looks like. Kind of reminds me of like a Revlon lip gloss or something, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I think this is gonna be a good, ooh. Yeah, that is definitely a good color. So that is the concealer shade there, not too yellow. We know I don't like that. I also picked up a primer. This is the Belief Beauty Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. Uh, I know they had a hydrating one and I know they had a mattifying one and I think this is just the regular primer because I didn't want either of those. So that is what the primer looks like there. It has a little bit of a tint to it, almost like a pinkish color. This feels a little hydrating doesn't really have a smell. The foundation doesn't really have a smell either, that's good. This feels more like it's just like a hydrating um, primer more than it is like pore filling or anything like that. So it says it just helps smooth the look of skin, extends the wear of makeup and works with all complexions to create a perfect base. I don't know, feels pretty regular, but whatever. I'll try it with the foundation. I also picked up one of their lip glosses and a lip liner. So the gloss I picked up, this is the Velvet, oh, it's not a, sorry, this is a liquid lipstick. This is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in Tea Time. I picked up a shade that I wanted to get that would be pretty wearable to do a neutral look. Yeah, that's right up my alley with the shades that I love. Everyday wearable. So that's the shade there. Really pretty color. And then the lip liner 
is the Long Lasting Lip Liner, and this is the shade Hint of Plum. Oh, a little too close. I'm not gonna like those together. <laughs> I didn't really do a good job looking at that. I'm pretty close so you guys can see. So the liner is here on this side, and then of course the liquid lipstick on the other side. I don't think these really go together, but we'll make it work. I also picked up their Matte Blur Loose Powder in Translucent. The banana, I believe they had a banana and then they also had a deeper shade, but I usually just go with a translucent shade because I feel like I don't really bake anymore, so I can just set what I need to brush it away and it's not gonna leave a white cast. So this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty standard, kind of reminds me of the Milani one that I tried. And then you have your basic sifter there, so I will use that in the video as well. Two more products from Belief Beauty. I pretty much think I have a full face, so we're pretty close to it. This is their eyeshadow palette in Sultry Sunset. So that is what it looks like right there. They did have some other options, but I don't know. None of them really drew me in. This is kind of pretty basic, I think, but I feel like it goes with the shades of the other products I bought. So that's why I lean more towards this one. So these all kind of, well, no. So there's two kind of shimmer shades, this one here and this one here. And then the rest of them are either satins or mattes. I ain't gonna lie, that red definitely drew me in. I'm gonna swatch them here. So this is the brown, pretty dark. This is the kind of coral color. So that's a good shade. Then this is one of the shimmers. This is the bronze. And then this is the red. Ooh, that red is pretty. So that's some of the shades there. Not all of them, but I think those are pretty. And these are definitely wearable, definitely create a full look out of it. So I'm anxious to see what these look like. Now, clearly I didn't really think this through, or maybe, I don't know, I think this can still go. They had a cream blush. They had a few options, but I picked up Color Me Cream Blush in Tropical Sunset. So this is what it looks like here. That is an absolutely gorgeous orange. And Based on the colors that I have here, looking a little plum mauve-ish, I don't know. I'm going to make this work because I want to do a full face, but hopefully, ooh, we can get some pigment off of that. That looks neon. Let's see how it looks on top. This is the foundation still. It is oxidizing a little bit, so she's going to be a little dark, but that's all right. So we're going to put this blush on top of the foundation uh that is not the shade i would normally go for and it doesn't look maybe because it's blending in with the foundation it doesn't look as orange but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna try it in the video i probably should have picked up more of a berry shade like i normally do but i was also trying to get something different so that might come back to haunt me but you will see this in the video as well. So that's all of the Belief Beauty stuff. I do have a few more random items. I was just having coupons and picking up stuff. I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 355. I think it's coconut or something like that. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. I've seen reviews. I am normally not a tinted moisturizer girl. If I don't want to do a full face of makeup, I will take a concealer or a foundation and I'll put it in the spots where I have the worst hyperpigmentation and just blend it out really well. And then I'll do some concealer under my eyes and I go about my business. To use a tinted moisturizer and put that all over my face, I normally don't, but we will see. I'm just, this was one of those, everybody's talked about it. I'm curious. I want to see how it works. This foundation... I wanted to try. This is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear. So they originally had the Superstay and that was 24 hours. I think I have two bottles of that in my drawer, different shades. And then I saw this one. This one says 30 hours and it also says active wear. So this is in the shade 355 Coconut as well. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and swatch her. This does come with a little pump as well. She looks a little bit lighter and orange. 
That's the shade there. Yeah, that looks a little orange to me, but I tell you, me and foundations, boy. Definitely drying down matte already. Those probably would look good mixed together, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna see how the Belief one wears on its own. But I really just wanted to try this foundation. It's still hot here, 100 degrees on some days, so I wanted to try that out and see how well it works. Another tinted hydrator moisturizer that I picked up is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I got mine in the deepest shade they have, which is deep. I can tell y'all right now, the shade of this is a little on the too neutral kind of almost gray. I feel like I swatched it in the store. I'll go ahead and swatch it now. I feel like I, wa I swatched it in the store and then I walked around with it. I put it in my basket, walked around with it, forgot I had it on my hand. And then when I got in the car and I saw the color, I was like, uh, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't think it's going to work. This is really inexpensive and I've seen good reviews on it. I feel like Tati said she loved this. It's just a little too neutral for me. But I prefer that to actually having it be like red or golden and looking yellow. So that's what it looks like right there. And when I did this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be fine and then I think it ended up drying down a little gray. So I'll try to remember to leave this on and let you guys see at the end of the video, but I've heard it has really good coverage and I've heard good reviews, so we'll see. Okay, to finish out, we have a few more makeup products and then two nails. So I've been starting to wear powder on top of my foundation again. My skin is finally balancing out since I used Accutane, which dried me out horribly. And now I don't feel oily, but I feel like if I want to make my makeup stay longer, I need to set it with a powder. Do I have face powders? Yes. Does that stop me from wanting to shop for more face powders? No. I will say though, sometimes I feel like it's hard to match because the powder looks one way in the pan and then when you put it on, it's different. So I struggle with that a little bit, but I struggle with foundation in general. So what are we talking about? The first powder I picked up is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Full Coverage Pressed Powder. This is what it looks like here. This one is in the shade 870 Toasted Almond. Now I do have the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation and it's also in this shade and that one is a little dark for me. So this does not look like it will be dark for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that don't look right. That looks very gold yellow. Not my favorite. You probably can't even see that. Oh, yes, you can. What is that shade? Why does that look like that? Hold on, let me wipe my hand off. <laughs> That looks crazy. Why does it look so gray? Hold on, but we got questions here. Hold on. Dry hand, dry fingers. I'm gonna swatch the powder. I put a very, very little bit. Is this not like... That looks gray. Mm. Okay, well, probably can't bring that back because I don't even remember when I bought it and it's probably outside the 30 days, but that looks very gray. Like, I don't know when I would wear that. Maybe if I had something that was too red but who wants to look gray? All right, I don't know. On to the next one. I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder. This has been out for a while, but I couldn't find it. This shade is dark. This is 365 Copper, but the shade that they had above it was too light. 
struggle bus. So that is what the shade looks like there. Looks like it should be fine, but there you see the difference. This one's a little more red neutral versus this one being more cool, more golden. So hopefully feels very soft. Color looks okay. Yeah, that's what I like better. So that's the shade there. Definitely not gray. So that'll be more of a match. I don't know what I'm gonna use that other one for. <laughs> Picked up another powder and this one looks like it's also gonna be gray. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in the shade D3 Mocha. Now I do have this already in a different shade and I feel like I thought it was too light. So I was like, oh, let me grab another one. That is what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna be very similar to the L'Oreal one, still feels nicer, softer than this one. Oh, okay, this is actually, I don't know if y'all can see that down there. This is actually, that's the Flower Beauty one. That's the L'Oreal and then up here looking gray is the cover girl. So this is actually gonna be a good shade. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. This next product was literally just a FOMO. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. This is in the shade Twilight Gleam. I've heard so many people talking about these highlighters and how good they are and how metallic they are and just so foiled and so beautiful. And you had me at the first few descriptions. So I decided to pick this up to see what all the hype was about it because I feel like I even heard this be compared to like the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. Maybe not this shade specifically, but the way these feel. So there you have it. Looks gold. Yeah, she's gold. The other one they had was way too... Ooh, that's pretty. It's not too gold. No, we can make that work. That is pretty. It is very... Like, there's no big chunks of glitter. It's just a beautiful sheen. So, yeah. That is promising. Last but not least, I picked up two boxes of nails. This first one is the Kiss Gel Fantasy Collection. This is in the long length and it says Tamano, Tamano Largo. I just love these colors. It is a kind of sky teal blue, that Tiffany blue. But these are like a holographic silver and blue and then the accent nails. These are way too long. I'm gonna end up cutting them, but I can usually wear them like these are too long. I can wear them for like a couple days and then when I have to go to the gym, I have to cut them. These are glue on, so we'll see how they work, but I just, I love the colors of these. And then these last ones are also by Kiss. These are the Masterpiece One of a Kind Lux Manny. These are just absolutely gorgeous. I feel like these are definitely more for special occasion. It's like a pinkish purple, and then it has the rhinestones on it. I normally don't do rhinestones, but I felt like these would be really good if I wanted to get like super glammed up and yeah, they have a marble finish and then it's like an ombre from the purple to white and then two of the accents here are actually kind of like a shiny versus the matte ones here. So thought these were cute. I'll let you guys know how they hold up. These are also glue on. And just because I remembered, so that is the Tinted Hydrator by Wet n Wild on the back of my hand there. I guess they don't look that bad. It's not quite the same undertone, which I knew that was off, but we can make that work. All right, guys, so that was it for the video. Not too long, not too crazy. Some nice, affordable products. Not, I mean, this stuff was probably new when I bought it, but it's not new anymore because this box has been sitting, waiting since probably the beginning of July. Either way, you'll see it in a video. I'll let you know my thoughts and my first impressions. Comment and let me know what you guys want to see first. That Belief Beauty video will probably be the... It's coming soon. I won't keep y'all waiting. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. Again, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Join the family. 
And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.